Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, turn post notifications on. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Skag Tiger Cat 2. Just got this mower, it's got 1.7 hours on it. Picked it up yesterday, 52 inch velocity plus cutter deck. Got the accelerator bagger to go with it. This thing will hold 6.5 cubic yards of grass. This thing was $600 and the triple bagger that you could buy is about 3,000. So I decided to go with that, save some money. And it weighs a lot less than the bagger and you can take it off. You just gotta put that little mounting bracket on there. I've cut three yards with this mower. It works pretty good. Cuts very nice. Love the seat. It's got the nice padded seat, the dial there to adjust to your weight. It's got the 26 horsepower Kawasaki engine on it. Lift the guard up. It's the engine. Plenty of power. The old ones used to used to bog down a little bit when you were cutting some higher white grass. They put the more they put the 26 instead of the 22 horse on their new model. And it works pretty good. Haven't had any problems with it yet. Two fuel tanks, one on each side. Holds a total of 9.5 gallons of gas. So you can mow for a long time with this. It's got the new parking brake on the side of the deck. Release handle right there. Deck adjuster with the pin. Easy pin. Pull it out, drop it in. Lift. Seatbelt on this one, got the armrest options. Fuel injected, no choke. Throttle, weight engagement, tiger eye. Here's what that looks like. And if I, and it'll tell you these light up red and they're good to go. See, the seat's not lit up, won't start. Press down on it, lights up, one light. That's really nice if you're having some trouble trying to figure out why it won't start. Got the 52 inch velocity plus cutter deck. This deck cuts really nice. Doesn't leave any grass problems. No clumps or nothing. Got nice big drive tires on it. Keeps it nice and sturdy on the hill. The accelerator bagger to put it on. Lift it up, you slide this little pin in that hole and then that thing sets on. Take it off, lift it, pull it off. Dump the grass, you got a little pin down here. You gotta lift it up, and this door comes off. And then you can dump the grass out, empties very easily. No problems emptying it. There we go. Just got this yesterday. And so far, I love it. This was, uh, let's see, without tax, it was $9,100. Out the door with the bagger and everything, $10,600 for this. I think it's worth every penny. Uh, hop on here. Nice, comfy seat. You got the deck adjuster there, lift it. Always handle. Deck goes down, push it up, it'll lock, change the height, push it up, drop it, put it at a three, sits right in to release the deck. Push down, pull back on this, there we go. Put the deck up, down, lift it up. Parking brakes over here, just push it, release it to put it on. You gotta push on it over here on the side, pull the handle, let it go. You got the dual tanks on this, one on each side. So now I'm going to show you some cutting footage of it, and then I'll make another review when I hit 50 or 100 hours, stuff like that. Coming up next, a review of the V-Ride, that'll be another video. This one has, I believe, 
believe. Got it last year, end of last year. 62 hours on the V-Ride. But that'll be the next video. But now I'm gonna show you some cutting footage with the Tiger Cat and the Bagger.
go take you to the other side so you can see exactly what it looks like from the front. Here's what the tree lawn looks like. There's the front yard. And again, I don't think I've said this yet, but this yard does not stripe at all. My yard stripes the least of every customer that I have or anybody else that I cut. Is that the one complaint I have about this mower is this pedal here. When you're mowing and you want to lift the deck up a little bit, you just don't have enough room to get your foot there. 